Welcome to today's powertrain. My name is Phil. I'm with IntelliFrain. I'll give you our commercial at the end of this powertrain. We'll be together about 15 minutes. And today we're going to talk about one of the most popular issues that have come up over the last seven to 10 days. And that is about arranging the media buys that you'll be doing for the balance of the year. And strangely enough, television seems to be leading the way in the inquiries, both broadcast television and cable television. And I'm going to give you a fundamental tutorial on how to effectively buy broadcast TV and or effectively buy cable television time as well. Now, in doing this, the goal of this powertrain is to either confirm what you're already doing, provide you with some insight as to how you may be do how you maybe should be doing it, or you may re come to the realization that you want to have someone do a media buy for you. Either way, we can guide you, point you in the right direction, uh, and help you generate the most leads for the least amount of output and develop a protocol that you can replicate. The first thing to understand is a huge difference between broadcast TV and cable television. Now, contrary to popular belief, not everyone has cable. There are still people that, that receive their television signal via rabbit ears. And if you question whether that exists or not, get in your way back machine when the TV signal went from an analog signal to a digital signal and all of that television advertising went out there telling people you need to get a new antenna receiver, you need a converter box so you can get the new digital signals on your broadcast signal that you're receiving. More money was spent on convert, getting that converter box and educating American consumers than was spent on AIDS education that year. That shows you the power of advertising. So you have to understand not everyone's watching it on cable, not everyone's watching it on a dish, not everyone's watching it through an internet signal of some sort. So broadcast television is the end all to be all. If you are on broadcast television for in your local market, you know you are virtually saturating everyone with one exception. Not every dish system, not every cable system carries every single broadcast network. So you want to, rule number one, make sure you're on one of the major networks, ABC affiliate, CBS affiliate, NBC affiliate, a Fox affiliate. Do not be on an independent station somewhere without a network affiliation. Number two for broadcast television, you need to know when to buy your TV time. There are two specific days during the week and one window of time for each of those two days. We can help guide you on what that information is, but if you buy before that window of time or after that window of time, it could spell problems for you. In other words, people aren't going to respond because if you are targeting your demographic, which we'll get to in just a second, you know when they're watching and you know what they're watching and you know why they're watching it so you have specific windows. So the next item to consider is indeed your demographic. When you look at your demographic, is it male, is it female? What is their age range? Don't just say, oh, I don't know, 40-ish. There are specific age ranges for demographic segments. There are, so you want your gender, you want your age range, you want to know about employment, you want to know about household income. We can give you the criteria that we use and most weight loss operations use to target most effectively their target audience. And don't go by what the TV rep tells you. Odds are they haven't got a clue. They're going to pull the latest stats for Weight Watchers or for Nutrisystem because those are the most dominating advertisers on television and think, oh, because you're a chiropractor and you sell weight loss, you want to do the same thing. Or because you're part of a national weight loss chain and you're a franchisee, you'll want to copy what Weight Watchers is doing. Or you're a doctor and you've got your physician and you have uh, weight loss in your practice and you should do what Nutrisystem is doing. Wrong, 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 wrong. It's not even the same business for the most part. Yes, the outcomes are the same, but the way it's advertised is a completely different ball of wax. So you need to understand where, one, where, when, what time of the day, what day parts, which day of the week. You need to know your demographic because you're ultimately shooting for a 
cost per thousand number. Now they're going to tell you about stats, different kinds of stats, different ratings, points and shares and all kinds of stuff. And you're going to nod in agreement like, yep, that must be a good thing because I don't want to admit I haven't got a clue what you're talking about. Tell them you don't know. Tell them you ultimately want to know how much is it going to cost to get in front of a thousand people in your demographic on that particular day and that particular time period. We can give you a fast tutorial on In fact, we already have videos set up that describe exactly how to do a TV buy. And it gives you all of these details. So that's a quick tutorial on broadcast television. Let's talk about cable television, a whole nother ball of wax. Now, if you've never advertised on cable television and you picked up the phone right now and called your local cable provider and said, hey, I want to advertise on cable, they will probably present you with the prototypical 500 spots for $500 entry level package for all new businesses just to give you a taste of how easy it is to be on cable television. This is the worst conceivable thing you could do because 500 commercials airing on five, 500 bucks and a buck a commercial airing 500 times, it's going to air on probably 125 cable outlets and no one's ever going to see your spot in the with the frequency and the time or the demographic that you want to have see it will ever see that spot maybe more than once or twice. So for cable television, you want to make sure you only buy network affiliated programming in the news only. For example, CNN, the Weather Channel, if you can uh, get on uh, Fox News, CNBC, MSNBC, those are your typical news-based channels uh, that you could get affiliated with. Now, if you're trying to run a commercial on cable, during a time in which your local network affiliates, ABC, CBS, NBC, Fox, are airing their morning programming. Well, let's say, for example, the Today Show. You want to air during the Today Show, but you want to do it through your cable outlet. In many cases, they have something called the interconnect. This enables that what it basically says is the cable company's been given, say, 90 seconds or 60 seconds where they're able to sell commercials that will only be seen in a tight geographic area maybe your town or your group of towns, depending on the size of your market, let's say in New York, in Miami, Atlanta, it can get right down to a neighborhood, if you will, where they can narrow it down to 25, 30, maybe 100,000 people that have exposure to it, and you don't know it's not being seen all over town. You just assume when someone sees that commercial, boy, you must be advertising everywhere. But it gives you a chance to more affordably advertise right in your neck of the woods. You can zone it. If, you, if you've ever done any kind of direct mail or newspaper, you can zone your advertising. It's the same way with cable television in most cases. If you're in a smaller market, there's really no need for that. You just want to be on there. But you have to ask, do they have access to be, for you to be able to run ads during net national network programming like the Today Show, Good Morning America, CBS This Morning, uh, Fox and Friends, things like that. So if you understand the difference between broadcast TV and cable TV and you buy it with the same demographic and you're targeting a specific uh, 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 cost per thousand or CPM and M is the Roman numeral for a thousand in case you're wondering why there's an M in there cost per thousand uh, then it'll enable you to get a better leg up now why is this important we have the reason TV has come up so much is because we have a lot of locations that we work with that have only been open a couple of years and they've noticed a precipitous drop off in their advertising over the last say two quarters before we started working with them and what we've noticed is their buys for let's say television or even radio were all over the place they followed as most people do understandably they followed the guidance of a uh, television rep who really doesn't know the direct-to-consumer, the, the type of weight loss sales that we do, where we, it's direct response to our ad and that we book them to come in. This is not an internet-based sales program for selling weight loss, but they're recommending 
advertising strategies based on that kind of a model. So what we're finding is as we're going through financial statements and seeing what was spent on television and radio and some other media, and then we're going back and examining, we call it doing a post-mortem. We do a post-mortem on previous media buys. We see that in some cases they weren't even on the right days of the week. They weren't in the right time of day. Now, did they get some response? Yes, they did because they're brand new and that in many cases has an impact. Uh, or there was some sponsorship they were involved in that gave them a little extra mileage. But the core audience that they were targeting was never exposed to the message or wasn't sufficiently exposed to that message. That's why it's not uncommon for you to go off the air from advertising in a particular media and six months or a year later someone says, yeah, I just heard you on television, or I just saw you on television, or I just heard you on the radio, or I just saw you in the newspaper. Well, we haven't been in, uh, tele on television for nine months, but you're not going to tell the prospect that. It has that type of residual benefit. So if you can advertise on the right days and the right times to the right demographic, that one ad that you may run in a particular time period may have the value or the ultimate impact of running 10 or 20 or even 100 ads. When the right people see it at the right time, there will be retention. And when it's time for them to lose weight, they'll come back and see you. Now, I always give this example. It's not really a, uh, anything to pat myself on the back with. In fact, it makes me look quite stupid. But there was a bagel shop near the corporate office I used to work in. And they had a van that they parked out on the main drag that I would drive by every day. And I drove by that van for years uh, that, and it advertised their bagel place. And one morning I woke up and all I wanted was bagels and real locks. I mean, I wanted genuine salmon in my cream cheese. And I knew they had the best bagels and uh, lox that I had ever eaten. And I wanted to get over there and I walked into their store. I parked the car, I walked in the store and I realized this is a furniture store now. Only to find out that bagel place hadn't been there for six or seven months. They sold, their lease was up, they gave up the space and a furniture store went in there. But in my mind, I was still seeing that van. In my mind, that place was still there. That's the long-term effect advertising in the right measures and doses can have. If you would like some guidance, or we may not even be able to help, you may be doing just fine with it. If you want to compare your notes on how your media buys are set up, give us a call. We'll give you 15, 20 minutes, a half an hour. We'll talk about your situation. If we can help you, if we can help improve results for you, we'll let you know. If we feel you've got it in hand, we'll certainly let you know. We don't want to you know, have a short-term start with somebody. We prefer a long-term relationship. Although we don't do contracts, everything's on a handshake. If it's working out, we'll just go month to month with each other from the very beginning. If you'd like more information on how we may be able to help your weight loss practice, your chiro chiropractic clinic, or your weight loss franchise, click us or call us. We're in Telefran. We are the only company in the United States that provides operations support to physicians, chiropractors, and, uh, and franchise investors of weight loss centers. We deal with nearly 30 brands in over 125 locations. I'm confident we probably have guidance we can provide you to help you save more lives and make more money. Have a great day. Let's go. go, go, go.